Hi everyone to who's watching. Welcome to our eighth episode of our Instagram takeover. And today we have Monty joining us. Um, he's been doing our takeover today. And so please feel free to ask questions along the way if you have any. Okay, so, you know, first we want to just get to know your sports background. And so how old were you when you got into swimming? When did you start cross country and things like that? <laughs> Um, I started like doing swim club when I was about 10. Um, before that though, I'd like always been like a little water baby. I would <laughs> always be going to the pool, playing around. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So then I like, my parents were like, okay, like, let's just put you in swim club and see what happens one summer. And mm -hmm. I loved it. And then eventually as I got older, I just got more and more committed to swimming. Like I joined my high school team and then a club team a little bit and here we are like 12 years later <laughs> yes. um and cross country is kind of the opposite of that um I've never really been a big runner like I ran for exercise and like I didn't mind it but I never really like ran I did track mm -hmm. for two years in high school before I really got committed to swimming but I only did pole vault so that's like <laughs> very different from cross country um and then I did, um, our school every year has a 5K called the Heart of the Lion, and I did that my freshman year, and I actually came in second. Wait, you behind. did not? What? Yeah, I, I came, that's how they, that's like how Patrick um, got to me, only behind Aaron Perry, who finished in like 16 minutes, and yeah. Um, I feel bad because I was like supposed to be partners with Shelby and we got like, two minutes into the race and I was supposed to be running with her and I just looked behind me and I did not see her and I was like, well, <laughs> no going back now. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, yeah, so then the cross country t uh, coach like asked me if I, they needed another guy for the team next year and he asked me if I wanted to join and I was like, well, I like competing, so why not? Mm. Um, so yeah, that's how I did cross country. And so I'm gonna do my second season of cross country ever in the spring. Oh, so your season got like moved over a season? Yeah, I'm pretty sure all semester. the <laughs> fall sports became spring sports. Oh, well, that's nice then. Yeah. Yeah, I actually, I think I saw something that was like, um, even if you like weren't able to compete this year because of covid like you're you might get another year of eligibility mm -hmm. i don't know if that's like applicable to like everyone but yeah yeah we'll all see. right making the most of it yeah exactly <laughs> um i think someone was asking you a question what college do you go to <laughs> i go to soka um that's where i met sachiko <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then what's oh, okay we what's what's one of your favorite brands <laughs> oh my favorite brand uh for swimming i like arena personally um mm. so for competitions i don't know how much the viewers know about swimming but for competitions you need like really for your like end of the season competitions you need like really uncomfortable tight suits that are pretty expensive and the arena ones just like fit me really well and they last mm. a really long time yeah and so that's just why i really like them so it's i can wear them a lot and plus their training training suits also fit me pretty well and just feel mm. really comfortable that's good yeah um <laughs> this person asked what football team did you play for what football team did you play for what i <laughs> never played football i don't think ever in my life um yeah. i played soccer european football in middle school yeah um, <laughs> and i played what was my team name i think we were the pirates cute so, yeah i played for the pirates um were you guys like top athletes in your high school or college we're college students so yes, yes. high school was uh, another story <laughs> <laughs>
And yeah. so, alrighty. Um, so, could you tell us about like your recruiting process and what that was like for you? <laughs> yeah. So my recruiting process was actually really painless. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I found. Um, I found Soka just like not through athletics at all, just through like a college booth at like a college fair. And I reached out to the swim coach, to Adam, and um, I really wanted to go to Soka just because like their programs were good. They had like things I wanted to study. It was the vibe I was looking for. Um, and then I visited my junior year and like got a tour and was like, I know this is where I want to go. And then all through my senior year, Adam kept calling me, <laughs> and, like trying to sell Soka to me. And I was like, Adam, this is where I want to go. Like, you don't <laughs> to put this much effort in. I appreciate it, but but you're oh, fine. Yeah. Like, I'm coming. I'm doing early everything. And so it was really, really pretty painless for me. We just talked a lot about like what how my senior year of training was going in high school, mm. like what times I was swimming what mm -hmm. means I was going to and then like what swimming would look like in um in college so it was it was really painless for me I know some people have like big struggles of like oh I don't know which school I'm gonna go to but I knew which school I wanted to go to I wanted to go to right. them. they wanted they wanted me to come there so it was a really painless mm -hmm. painless recruiting process yeah that's good. I, I mean, I had, a, I had like the same process too, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like it's so good. It's a very common, common yeah. thing. Like we want to go there. They want us to come here. Exactly. Yeah. It works out pretty well. <laughs> um, is that D1, D2, or D3? So Soka, I mean, you can share if you want. <laughs> okay. Um, so Soka's not NC2A. It is a different, like, governing organization called NAIA, which they have some similarities to NC2A, but it's a little bit different. Um, the biggest difference that was also kind of a big sell for me is mm -hmm. um, for smaller schools, they're allowed to give athletic scholarships. So for D3, mm -hmm. there's no athletic scholarships, but our school is 500 people and we mm -hmm. can have athletic scholarships here. So that's, yeah. yeah. So that was yeah. another another good sell pretty much yeah yeah um uh, let's see what else um this person asked what's your favorite sports drink <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um okay our this is kind of weird um Sachiko, you'll understand but our cafeteria <laughs> i'm not sure if they have or had i think they had i think they got rid of the machine but they had lemon lime Gatorade in the fountain. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and it hit different. It hit <laughs> different. It was so good. I don't even normally like lemon lime Gatorade, but that lemon lime Gatorade from the cafeteria fountain was so good. <laughs> I mean, it's a little surprising. <laughs> it's like deceptively good. It's it doesn't taste like normal lemon lime Gatorade. I think they might have like extra mix her mm. like liquid or something in there so but like it's just that one which is really good <laughs> yeah it was really it's really really good <laughs> that's funny um what else where's the college at college. where's where's soka <laughs> the um um it's in southern california um in orange county um like in this little city called Aliso Viejo. Um, <laughs> if you know like where Irvine or Laguna Beach is, it's in that general area. Those are both about a 20, 30 minute drive away from mm -hmm. camping. Yes. So, a nice little it's area. a nice area. I mean, yeah. very California-y. Um, all right, uh, let's just keep going with a few more questions. So, okay, you already answered this one. Um, so what is, you know, one of your favorite things about being a student athlete at SOCA? <laughs> Ooh, um, I love the team, the like teams that we have. Um, like the first day I went, like my first swim track ever, it was just like, 
like I felt at home. Like everyone there made me feel at home. Like our team is really, really close. We all like laugh and joke together and have a really good time. Mm -hmm. And even cross country, I didn't really know that many of the cross country runners that well, but um, cross country comes to campus before school starts for about a month and trains together. And during that month, they like, really welcomed me in even though like they were already a team and I was sort of like the outsider coming in and like running for them but they really welcomed me in and like we all became really good friends and like it's just especially at Soka it is such a good team environment on any mm -hmm. sport like even my friends on other sports always say that their teams are really great too so that's probably yeah. my favorite part is just the like automatic friends that that you get yeah I agree it's 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 the best <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and um, so far in your three and a half years in college, um, what do you think has been one of your greatest accomplishments? Ooh. Um, so I was thinking about this. When you sent me the questions, I was like thinking about this. And I really realized, um, I was thinking about it. So for people who don't know at SOCA, you have to go on study abroad your junior year. And as a swimmer, that's really hard because we like either miss the first most of our season or we miss all of our championship meets. So it's mm -hmm. like kind of a lose-lose situation. And so most swimmers go in the first half of the year so they can come back for all the championship meets, but just kind of not, not very good. <laughs> um, and so I managed to train just a little bit over my study abroad. And then I came back and I had a lot of mental breakthroughs that year, even though my time's not the best. Um, and specifically in the 200 backstroke, that's like a race that I know I should be faster than I am, but mentally mm. not been okay. all the way there yet. <laughs> and <laughs> at nationals, I finally swam the first hundred of that 200 backstroke, how I needed to swim it. And like, I got over that mental block. I completely died the second half. It was <laughs> terrible. My splits, I think I posted them on Instagram. They were abysmal. The, the second half was so bad. But I remember getting out of that pool and thinking, I gave that race everything I had. I did what I needed to do to get that best time. And I'm just not strong enough to get that best time. But I overcame that mental bit during this season to go out how I needed to. So mm -hmm. that's probably the most proud I was ever um, in college out of me. Yeah. Oh, I mean, of course, having that mental like breakthrough is very, it's, a, it's like, wow. <laughs> yeah. Especially with like a race like the two back, <laughs> <laughs> it could be miserable. Yeah, <laughs> but glad to hear. Um, <clears throat> do you have any athletes you look up to, or if not, just like role models in your life in general? Ooh. Um, the usual answers of like the top athlete, the top swimmers, like yeah. Um, Phelps, Katie Ledecky, Caleb Dressel, mm -hmm. like those are all up there. Like, I just think what they do is just so incredible and so hard. And like, um, I keep up with the International Swim League and like watching those matches is just like really inspiring to be like, okay, mm -hmm. like I can push harder, I can do all this. So them, and then um, both my parents were also college athletes and they were- Oh, really? Yeah, they were really- <laughs> really into they actually met playing basketball so oh. so yeah so I always am like hey like here we go a little family of athletes oh so, yeah. that's 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 cute mm -hmm. um okay we have some more questions um let's see where did we stop um where's your college <laughs> Okay, um, <laughs> he asked, how do you feel about the Notre Dame students running on the field after the game for the bomb? <laughs> oh. I mean, I'm, as swimmers, we don't know much about football. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know if we can answer that question for Our you. Our school doesn't have a football team. Yeah, here. unfortunately, yeah. so. <laughs> um... So you kind of answered this through like athletes you look up to, but 
Um, this person asks, who's your favorite swimmer? <laughs> who's my, fa my favorite, favorite, favorite swimmer is probably uh, Katie Ledecky. Mm, yeah. um, just because watching her race is just absolutely incredible. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Every, like, you see those screenshots of her at the Olympics where she's, like, a full, like, half a pool length ahead of everyone else. And those are the second through seventh best swimmers in the world. And she is just so far out in front. And I'm just like, wow. Like, that is yeah, so inspiring. That is so crazy. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. And the fact that, like, she's, like, pretty much our age is, yeah. like, even more, like, a wow factor. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Um... Do you know my friend? I think he swims in your division. His name is Nick Gurr. <laughs> Do you know a Nick Gurr? Nick Gurr, I do not. I know, I know some Nicks, but none of them are Nick Gurr. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> um. Oh. And he says he know he loves our school. Well, that's good. <laughs> um, what's your forty time? I'm, I mean, flea boy truck. <laughs> Could you like specify what you mean by what's your forty time? <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> And then we have just two more questions, or I have two more questions for you. Um, what are your current goals? <laughs> oh. I just want to swim best times coming into this season. Like, I'm probably, hopefully, going to be back on campus, and hopefully we're going to have some meets. And I know our season's going to look different, very different because of COVID, but I've been lucky to have um, – a team here that's been really good with guidelines and getting us in pools and keeping us socially oh, distanced while good, being able then. to train. So yeah, I've been able to train and I want to be able to show off what I did to myself and hopefully spend some, some best times. Yay. Oh, that's nice that like you get to practice here. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then last question. Do you have any advice for those like wanting to become a student athlete in college? <laughs> hey, my biggest advice is just go for it. Um, if you're not sure, like if like only the top, top, top people get colleges like reaching out to them. So if colleges aren't reaching out to you, reach out to colleges. They would love to have you. Um, I know Soka would not have reached out to me if I hadn't like mm -hmm. put myself out there first because I don't think Soka knew who I was. I'd only been swimming club for two years for a year at that point. Right. When I like sent in my application form. So find colleges that you think have a good um, academic or athletic or both programs and just submit your recruiting form and um, yeah, send emails, uh, talk to coaches, just put yourself out there. It's, I think it's a great experience. Um, it's really helped mm -hmm. actually like get me through the academic part just to like be able to go for hour, hour and a half, two hours and just be like, okay, not yeah. thinking about school. I just have to work out. <laughs> and so, so yeah, I think if you want to even just a little bit, go for it. Like put yourself out there. It's, it's really great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I definitely second that. So, <clears throat> because I mean, even if, like, you know, coaches do reach out to you, like, you still have to do your own part, too. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, I have one more thing to add. I yes, have one more thing go to ahead. Add. Um, <laughs> if you don't think you're good enough to swim in college, you literally are... Do any sport in college, you literally are. Um, I know my freshman year, we had a girl on the swim team who was a senior mm -hmm. and had never swam competitively before in her life. Yeah. So that was her first season ever swimming competitively. She swam. She was part of the team. She was at all our meets. She was competing with us all the time. And she loved it. Like from she did. Yeah. Yeah. She loved it from what she was saying. She had a great time. So if you don't think you're good enough, you <laughs> are good enough. Uh -huh. <laughs> you just got to find the right, the right coaches and the right school that will help support you wherever you are mm -hmm. in your, 
in your training. And we're, we were lucky that we had a good coach that managed a wide variety of range of mm -hmm. skills. So. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I think we were very lucky. So, oh, those were good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Um, if anybody else has any questions, but if not, this will be the end of it. <laughs> um, thanks for joining us um, and taking the time to answer all these questions. Yeah, um, thanks for having me. Yeah, and then we're excited to see the rest of your day. <laughs> yes. All right, great. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.